Hello and welcome. We have to be honest, it's not a very pleasant night for football. The rain has been coming down heavily in advance of this game. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. It's Porto up against Inter. Well, Inter have a slender lead, Derek, from the first leg. But unless they stay focused today and don't drop too deep, this could be a really tough match for them. I'm looking forward to this one. starting lineup for Porto. Well, it's the basic 4-4-2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. is as follows. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Hendrik Mkhitaryan plays alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Edin Dzeko. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. of pass needs to be a bit better Dumfries Martinez had a chance to whip it in here Mkhitaryan it has to be and a goal and I'll tell you what that gives them a bit of a cushion now Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. Just to check on the aggregate score, it is 2-0. Eva Nilsson and Uribe you can sense the threat is there well honestly I didn't mean to jinx them just wasn't a very good pass finally Eva Nilsson just cutting off the supply Chalanolu. Dumfries. Varela has it. And intercepted it. Galeno. Difficult to stop him. And teammates to play it to. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. <laughs> M 
Mikitarian. Well, attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. Can they hit on the break? Wendell. It's looking promising. Oh, fine stop. Well, another wonderful save to add to his portfolio. Barella. There to win it back. Martinez. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Jekko. Back with Martinez. In it goes! But it will not stand. Offside, Stewart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. Steven Eustachio. Now with Toremi. It comes to absolutely nothing. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. They need to get bodies back. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Nilsson, Matteo Suribe, and teammates around him. Well cleared away. Will he find the net? The chance is on. Could be, and a goal! And now the question is, can they come up with one more? Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. No. 2-1 is the aggregate lead. Good looking sequence. Shot attempted. Terrific block. Well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Well, no booking comes from it, but he's going to have to tread carefully here. Well, I think that's great refereeing. He doesn't want to be throwing cards about willy-nilly. And clears his lines. Well, the supporters think it's on. Oh, so near, off the post. And problem solved for now. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Barella. Dzeko, brilliantly blocked. Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save.
Well, for good measure, we can see it again, but clearly not over the line. Can be no debate over that decision. Well, the short corner routine. Chananolu. Real chance. Oh, a good timing save. Going short. Mkhitaryan. And a goal! And I'll tell you what, that gives them a bit of a cushion now. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. The managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. And they're underway in the second half of this Champions League semi-final second leg. Martinez. Can they take advantage? A very timely interception. Dumfries. Now, what can Inter do from this position? Dzeko. Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stewart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Barella. Well, clearly in the mood to make it a double, but fine goalkeeping. Well, he's playing really well today. That was another decent attempt. And he's fired over the corner. Mateo Zuribe. Pardon me. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. A glorious chance. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. They need to make the most of this corner. Now sending it in. A strong goalkeeping after the corner had been delivered. Dumfries. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Retaining possession proving difficult. Now well, that'll be a free kick.
And a good take under duress there. Barella. Skriniar. Dumfries. Getting forward. And the corner's been given. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Who can they pick out? Struggling to get it away. Gozens. Checo, chance! Oh, a great chance it was. Goalkeeper has it. Alessandro Bastoni. And now De Frey. Inter in a position of menace, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? He landed really heavily on his shoulder there. You can see the discomfort he's in. He's a tough guy. I think he'll carry on. Cheers, Jeff. Another perfect position to read it. It comes to absolutely nothing. Dzeko a quarter of an hour remaining here now Dzeko Mkhitaryan nicely timed tackle Paremi and Uribe now what can they do from here of well, possibilities inside the box great opportunity He's blocked it! And they will make the change now. And the short option preferred. Is it going to be? Oh, great block. And he read it well defensively. Gozens. And snuffing out the danger. And providing wit. Shown inside. Martinez! Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Mkhitaryan and collected tidily he had plenty to think about this is looking threatening and space to cross it has a go. And using his body to good effect. Denied again. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And now it is truly final in more ways than one. Inter are going to the final. Well, look at the celebrations. You can just see how much it means to them. There really wasn't much in it over the two legs. They were tested all the way, but that's a sign of champions. And what a final it promises to be now. A performance certainly to keep his own fans happy from Henrik Mkhitaryan. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.